okay, so hi. I've been sitting in front of this bookshelf, bookcase even, and I've been looking at it and going, they're a bit, meh. I don't really like them anymore. Uh, so yeah, that's what I decided to do. I'm gonna update my bookshelf. Yay! That got weird, didn't it? Anyway, it's been a long time coming. Like I said, it's been like a few years since I've actually updated it and I've got books literally everywhere. I've got books here, I've got books here and they're in there and they're up there. They're just they're just everywhere. And there are some that deserve bookshelf status because that means they've made it as awesome books if they live if they live on here so that's what i'm gonna do so this is the before video a lot of these books are probably not going to be on the bookshelf once i redo it and i'm not probably going to get around to doing reviews of them all because you know they're all right but they're not worthy of an entire video for themselves mainly because i've forgotten what they're about i thought i'd just go through and and just kind of show you what's there and i should probably warn you Ow. There's lots of other random stuff on my bookshelves as well, which will probably make you think, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I thought about tidying it before I started doing this video, and I was like, well no, because that's not an accurate representation of the chaos that is in my brain, <laughs> and that is represented in this bookshelf. So this is as it is, I haven't touched it, I haven't changed anything, so let's begin, shall we? So this is the top shelf, top shelf is where the good stuff goes, and then lots of random stuff, but I'll get to that lot in a minute. Um, oh, I should also say that I'm holding this camera in my hands, so if I start going, oh my god, uh, um, it's because my hands aren't particularly steady, <laughs> and I forget that I'm holding a camera. Uh, if we move the weird swan things, oh no, oh no, Hello Kitty died! There she is, she's dead, and there's my foot. Uh, but yeah, so this is where the books that I love go. Um, so you've got my Holly Blacks, my Scott Westerfelds, which are fantastic really dystopian series really good i coriander um i have remember i am um, move out the way um i haven't forgotten about my fairy kind of video review series um i will be viewing them then there's this this big pile of random stuff i've got these like weird masks with all these beautiful feathery things but they're still random and I've got like ribbons and there's, oh shit, where's the camera gone? There's like, I've got a fan, I've got dream captures with feathers on and uh, yeah. Um, so this shelf is quite small, which is why the small books go on here. Um, you can see I've got my Jennifer Fallon's um, amazing series. That's the prequel series, also amazing, but you should definitely check those out. I have got a review of them up. Check my channel for that. Um, this little series, you can't actually see it very well again because they're hidden by the army of manga characters. But this is um, a really, really good little um, fairy tale retelling series. Uh, if I just move these out of the way, if I just grab one, as you can see, they are a once upon a time. I don't think they had like a a name, but they're like once upon a time series, I think. And there's loads of them in the series, and they've got really gorgeous covers by. Uh, oh god, where's his name? There goes some more there. Where's his name? Where are you? Ah, I don't know. Where's your name? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I found it, found it. Ah, uh, there you go. Kinoku, Kinoku Wycraft, and he's fantastic. So he does all the covers. They're really good little books. In particular, Cameron Doki is probably the best um, out of all of them. So it's lots of different authors, um, but she's definitely the one to check out. Um, okay, so now to explain the random little dudes. Um, I have rather geekish tendencies. Um, I can't help it. I just I, I do geek stuff. Um, among them is I am a bit of a manga anime fan. If anyone who's interested in manga and anime will know that Clamp are pretty much the the big hitters in that uh, in that industry. And this was a little set that they released um, with some collectible magazines and these little chess pieces. Look, it's a little Sakura. <laughs> and look, Mini Cooper. Hooray! I can't drive, but whatever. Fight Neil. Oh. Um. Oh my god, my knee just broke. Jesus, ow. So we've got my Ruth Renaissance on here. She's a fabulous author. Um, just so, so funny. She's really Snyder, I want to do a video on her. I've got my Cassandra Clares, which I do love. I prefer the old covers, which looks like that. And I've got some other randoms at the end. These are a fantastic little series of collections 
of uh, classics that I started collecting. I haven't actually read any. Why the hell do I have that? That's not mine. Grab Alice in Wonderland, and you can see like, if I hand it up, like how big it is compared to my hand. They're tiny, the tiny little books. They're really adorable. They've got like, the gold gilt thing, and if I can open up one hand, in the inside, you can see that they're like. Oh no, it's all going wrong! <laughs> and they're, yeah, they're really pretty on the inside as well. They've got like the nice cover, which is dumped out on the floor. Um, I've got Tinkerbell in a ball, which is great. Um, it's supposed to be a snow globe, but it's actually like really quite crap. I mean, that's that's literally it. There's like no snow in there whatsoever. But this is the shelf that you can see when I do my. Um, I have just read a book review videos. Um, so I've got some Maggie Steve Otters. They're good. These books, actually, I wonder what these are fun. Uh, first one's Kathy's Kathy's book even, and they are by uh, Stuart Weissman and Brig, <laughs> and they're really dusty. Um, but if I can just turn around and put this on the floor and show you, because it's a really good story. But look, you've got these really gorgeous illustrations and stuff, and then in here you've got like loads of little random stuff, like you've got little cards and letters about stuff and there's also a marriage certificate and like a photograph and it's just really fun to look through we'd have a point of at the thing at all the stuff so if you can find this edition with all this stuff in it then i definitely recommend that i'm just gonna leave that there and then the other two are the same yeah these ones this is probably more the shelf that needs to be redone because these books aren't particularly ones that i'm interested in anymore um although shannon hale was good she does the fairy tale retellings as well so she's pretty awesome. I've got my guide on Tokyo because I have been lucky enough to be able to go and it was immense. If you get the chance, go. It'll change you forever. And then let's talk to the random stuff. It's a fairy. She's a candle. That's literally all there is to say about that one. Um, Ezio! Yeah! Okay, as I said earlier when I was mentioning those little, those little things there, um, I'm a bit of a geek and part of that is playing video games um, and one of my favourite um, franchises and series is Assassin's Creed and this guy is the main character, this is Ezio Auditore di Firenze, sorry about my awful Italian accent and check him out, he's got like a sword and everything, this is a thing my friend bought me for Christmas and I'm afraid I did moan at him slightly because he's not got a hood, where the flip is his hood, people will know who he is, the whole point of assassin is they're supposed to be assassinated really awful hair but still but this is cool check this out he has bendable toes okay my hand is like really in the way there he has bendable toes look they they can bend this is the future people action figures with toes that bend so yeah that's my Ezio he sits there and this now um do you remember me talking earlier because it was a while ago I've been waffling for a while about this stuff um, well, this is what it ties into. Uh, this is a Palmer sculpture that I did a little while ago now. Long story short, I made it. Oh no, she's falling over. Um, I made it myself, basically, is the long and short of it. And that is what all that random shit is at the top. Um, it's what I make their clothes out of. Um, nah, okay, it's you. He looks so cool. Wow, it looks like his sword is on fire. That is awesome. Ah. So continuing on with the chore and moving away from Ezio, um, we have just DVDs. DVDs and games mainly on this one. So there we go. Let's get up off the floor. Oh God, I trod on the book. I am now going to change it. Waha, scary. I better get cracking. Cause it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So see you later. My cat is helping me edit in her special little way. I think she thinks it's okay. Right. 